Do you know what does what? No, but this okay. is a very enchanting little cab. <laughs> That's the BR Class 03 cab. I could see, like, up front you just have the right driver view window, and that's the proper driver view window. Well, they, they, they could drive from either side. Can they? Yeah, because of, uh, for shunting you need to be able to see both sides. Okay. So, uh, both controls are duplicated from one side to the other. Yeah. So we have the throttle. Okay. There. Forward and reverse, just for the reverse you know, which, which way you're going. That's the air brake on the loco only, so that's okay. like the, the sort of standard brake that we okay. this loco. There's the gears, you have five gears, we only use four here. But four would make it go too fast otherwise. Well, it, it fifth was only ever used for transporting them without pulling a load, so okay. we go up to fourth. And this is the, the vacuum brake for operating the full okay. train brake on this. So Oh, easier than I thought. I thought it'd be quite heavy. Well, some of them are. They're all different. Yeah. These pedals, these yeah. are for the dead man's handle, so okay. we have to put our foot on that when we're driving. Obviously, if we fall off, yes. then the brakes would come on within, I think, about 15 seconds or something. Like Very that. handy. It's good BR had that. Yeah. Which, how do you start turning it on? There is oh, yeah, there's a switch there, and then that's the start button there. Okay. Hey, buddy. No, that one, no, we won't start it just yet, because... Okay. We, we it only needs to start about five or six minutes before we go. So okay. Twenty minutes. Okay. Shouldn't touch it yet. We're not. We're not going to start it yet. This is the horn. Yeah. Both sides again. Got controls duplicated. Obviously, you cannot. It won't toot if the engine's off. Uh, it will because there's some air pressure in, so it would. It would make a noise. Okay. We only blow the horn, and we're going to move. Okay. And the uh, the big ship's wheel there. That's the handbrake, basically. So okay. When we're sat here, the, the handbrake's on. Yes. And that's that's the main controls. Very interesting. Well put out. Oh, and these RPMs. Well, it, it, they do have a, a counter for the, the engine speed. This do, this one doesn't work on this one, but it doesn't really matter. We don't we don't need it. And what are its top so, RPMs on the R, BR Class 03? I don't know. I, it's it's something yeah. like 1,200 or something like that. 1,200. I can't quite see that's that. Yeah, but, well... 1200 is, is the uh, maximum normal revs. Yeah, obviously it would go up a lot more slowly because if you turn it on it'll just go very it, slowly it, up. It does, it does rev quite slowly because it's a big engine. Yes. Although it's a small diesel, it's a, a big engine for a diesel. You know, for, for, for um, revolutions time. But the other diesels, their engines are bigger. They're bigger, you know, if you go to a, like a Class 31, we've got two Class 31s. Their engines are yeah. huge. They're much bigger, yeah. And they have but fewer RPMs, apparently. They, they, they go even slower, yeah. They're probably maximum revs of about 700. But there, but there is a diesel, the Deltic, that does about 1500 RPMs. That's right, yeah, that's right. They yeah, have high they, speed. Do they have smaller engines or bigger? No, they're, they're a very different design and, and they're also two strokes rather than four strokes, so they uh, the pistons can move faster. So they've got two engines? Uh, they've got two engines as well, yeah. Potentially, wow. No wonder why, and also it goes about 100 plus miles per hour. Oh, yeah. But they're th over 3,000 horsepower, so... Yeah. Yeah, they're a, they're a very different animal to this. This is... Well, we don't go above 10 miles an hour here, because we can't, but uh, these would not normally operate around about that sort of speed okay. most of the time anyway, presenting. So the diesels, these big diesels, they have to watch their speed here? Um, yeah, although uh, we, don't, uh, we don't use them that often. We've got to no, but if we were to use them, they should watch their they, speed. They need to watch their speed, yeah. Especially yeah, they, if they, they can they... do 90 miles per hour at the max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, on a 10 miles an hour line, it's... Uh, Dangerous. It, it would be not, yeah, you couldn't do it. Yes. Uh, the gauges, by the way, um, this is our vacuum gauge, this is the yeah. train vacuum for the, the brake. These gauges here are all air pressure, Yeah. because the this is the air pressure in the, the locomotive brake, and then these two, yes. I think one of them is, that's the control, that's so changing gear and operating the forward and reverse yes. uh, setup, they're all operated by air, so... Yes. The, we need air pressure before you can change gear, so you mm. can't go anywhere without air pressure. Yeah. And then that air pressure, actually, this is a, a funny system, I don't know exactly how it works, but the air pressure in the locomotive, when you demand vacuum from 
for, for the whole brake. Mm -hmm. It's the air pressure that controls the vacuum yes. brake. So again, you need air pressure before even the vacuum brake yes. will work. So everything w relies on, on, the, on the air pressure built up in the loco. And then this one, of course, is your engine oil pressure. Yes. So we, don't, uh, we don't rev it up until we can see all pressure going around the whole engine. <laughs> yes. When you especially important when you first cold start. Oh it, yes. First time in oh the yes. Yes. Wait till there's a nice bit of oil pressure before. In the lubricating oil. Yeah. Bit. That's that's the oil pressure for the engine. Yes. Uh, and the speedo works both directions, so going backwards and forwards. Yeah. And uh, I'll say we're here we're limited to ten miles an hour. As said before, yes. Yeah. Very very interesting. Okay, so that's. Uh, and of course we have our token which allows us to be on the line. We have to have that in order to be have the permission to go down the line outside of the station. Yes. And that operates, um, there's a, a point at the end which goes into the sidings and you need that key to do that. And once this is yes. out, those sidings are locked off so anyone can do anything in those sidings <laughs> without coming onto our, what we call our main line. Yes. So that's in a nutshell, the O3 operation. Very good. Very yeah. interesting. Really good coverage of the o of the BR class O3 yeah. itself. Very good coverage. And very interesting. You probably know we've got quite a few of them here. There's yes, I've seen a few of them. Yes. Yeah, over in the shed, it's not very accessible at the minute, but you can see there's a few being worked on. Yes, I could. I actually saw. Oh, you went. You went over there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's quite a few being worked on. I say they're always being worked on and rotated because they're all old now and they all need a lot of attention. Well, 50, 60 years old <laughs> now, that's very elderly. Yeah. Well, for a diesel particularly, or well, any yeah, vehicle, yeah, yeah. any vehicle over the age 50, 60, that's quite elderly it for is, it. Yeah. Piece of vintage, as, as oneself could so say. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, I'll, I'll be starting it up at about uh, five or ten past well, very soon, actually, and yeah. then, um, if you'll excuse me, I need to just go to the of course. little boys' room. Certainly, <laughs> need to go to the toilet. <laughs> the boys' room, yes, it is the boys' room. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you're very welcome, and uh, be on the train, ready for quarter past. Yep. Oh.